Silent Hill is back. Everyone doubted. They doubted Konami, and to be fair, with good reason, with good reason, with the pachinko obsession going on over there, but Silent Hill transmission happened today over on the Konami YouTube channel. There's a lot of news with Silent Hill to cover. I did want to cover this quickly here, the, to the best of my ability. If I sound a little off and not excited, um, my cat passed away this morning, which probably is neither here nor there to those of you who don't know the channel, but I've had that cat since I was 10. Uh, so I will be making a video about Kitty probably later on in the week or early next week, but I'm not really ready to talk about that yet. Uh, but I, I am really excited for this. This is something I've advocated for for a long time. I hope that eventually we can see the same treatment happen with Metal Gear in some good way. But let's hop into it because the first big piece of news was the confirmation of Silent Hill 2's remake coming from Polish video game studio Bloober Team, who has specialized in many horror and horror-inspired games over the years, including Layers of Fear, Observer, Blair Witch, and even The Medium. This game is going to be a PS5 exclusive, so PlayStation 5 is getting it, uh, not Xbox. But I will say that with that... It is also coming to PC. We just don't know when yet. It's seeming like the standard is sort of like a six month to a year sit out there on PlayStation 5. If it's a console exclusive, then it goes to PC. So if this follows that pattern, it will likely be the same. The Steam page is already up if you're a PC player and want to check out the information that's up about it. And the PlayStation page is also up as well on the PS5 store. I will say with this game, one of the interesting things too is that Masahiro Ito is actually back, the original concept and creature designer. He's actually going to be, uh, you know, really involved in this game and at the forefront of the concept and character design despite this being made by Bloober Team. They're working very closely with him. I also do want to say from this little footage, man looks very handsome. Like he, he came back and he was looking good on stage. So, you know, he's taking good care of himself. I think he's going to take good care of Silent Hill. Also, Akira Yamaoka is back as well. I can't say names. I know it doesn't matter what nation they're from. I just messed them up, so I'm sorry. But he's actually back as well with the series, and he's going to be providing the classic music design that the Silent Hill series veterans are actually used to. He commented ecstatically on how his goal with Silent Hill 2 originally, because he did work on the music for that, was to create a new type of music inspired by the story and world of the game. He also mentioned how happy he is that Silent Hill still matters to fans even 20 years after the original Silent Hill 2 came out. And in order to keep what made the original Silent Hill 2 so special, Bloober Team is working very closely with Ito and Yamaoka in order to actually preserve that feeling of the original Silent Hill 2, while there are a few different changes. We're going to talk about the changes. Now, I will say I have been someone, when you remake games, that gets a little nervous about changes, but the little bit that we saw was looking pretty good to me in terms of the major change, which was the camera. This is not going first person. That was a concern that I had personally with the game, because I think the character you play as, James, does have a big impact, especially on this game. He's not just a avatar stand-in for you. He actually has a purpose to the game. So you're still going to be able to see him. It still is a third person game but it's going to have an over-the-shoulder camera, which is just a little bit different from the original, which was more zoomed out and centered. But this is intended to be more immersive while still providing the same third-person atmosphere as the original Silent Hill titles. And this does line up as well, despite them not saying this, with the rumors that this return to Silent Hill was very inspired by the success of the Resident Evil remakes, where they did change a few things, including the camera angle a little bit and change some stuff like that, but they tried largely to preserve the spirit of the original, at least with Resident Evil 2 remake. I know three people have some gripes with, but it seems that Konami was somewhat inspired by that return to form from Capcom, and that did push Silent Hill to come back. Although that wasn't actually mentioned at the at the transmission, I doubt you'd want to give your competitors a huge amount of credit, but it does seem like that rumor and statement from before was given a lot of credibility because of this transmission. Konami is also now working with creators all around the world to try and expand the universe of Silent Hill. This isn't just a one-off. My fear with the Silent Hill 2 remake was that if it came out and it didn't sell gangbusters immediately, we'd never see these games again. It does seem like we're going to at least get a few projects out of it 
before it goes away. And I don't want it to go away, but it's Konami, so I'm just saying I don't know. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. They have been better about allowing people to make HD remasters and compilations and stuff lately, so maybe they actually are really committed to this. They did say with this that Silent Hill Townfall was another announcement that's going to be happening. This is being worked on by Annapurna and No Code Studios, and No Code Studios actually worked on Stories Untold and Observation, which are both about psychological horror, and this game is designed to respect the source material but do something new with it, but we don't actually know how much it will do with it. This was more just a confirmation that Townfall is being made, and more information was said to be released following the new year of 2023, but again, we're gonna have to wait to see more on that. It's a very interesting looking little teaser. It didn't reveal much, but it was cool to see. There's also actually a new film in the works. Now, before you, you know, before you get upset, it's not supposed to be like the second Silent Hill film. Uh, this is actually supposed to be like the good one, the original one, because it actually has creators of the original Silent Hill film involved, including Christoph Gans, who actually it was the original film's director. Now, something really cool with this, too, is that this was something we talked about before. I think earlier on in the week or last week, I talked about the big news for Silent Hill fans because Gons kind of accidentally revealed that they were working on several different things and him being back, of course, now we know that those rumors or revelations were true. It wouldn't have really served him at all to make that up, but it's good to know that it's actually true. This film is actually very much about returning to Silent Hill because that's the name of it, Return to Silent Hill. And it lines up very well with the remake of Silent Hill 2 because it'll be very focused on James and the psychological horror and human elements of Silent Hill 2 involving the search for his wife, Mary. The original will and writing of the game is said to be respected in this movie, and in order to produce something good that works with film, but doesn't just disregard the original game or use it to push a movie without respecting it, they are actually heavily consulting that original game, they are basing it heavily off of that, and not changing a ton of stuff in order to just improve it. I think this is something that a lot of adaptations in recent years have struggled with. The idea of, well, yeah, they made this thing, but I can make it way better than they did. It doesn't seem like there's any ego going into this movie in terms of the creators and trying to improve Silent Hill 2. This is just trying to adapt it into movie form in, I believe they said somewhere between 90 to 100 minutes. So yes, it will be shorter, but it's supposed to preserve that original feeling and style and story. So I'm very interested to see how they do that because the cinematography of the original Silent Hill, if you didn't like anything else, was at the very least very well done. There was a lot of cool and interesting and impactful scenes and characters and ways that the game ideas interacted with the movie. So it'll be really neat to see that show up here again as well with some of those creators attached. There's also a ton of new merch, including statues and more, which I likely will not be able to afford since I'm broke and the uh, Pyramid Head scares me, but maybe you're doing better than I am and you want Pyramid Head on your desk at all times, reminding you of the impending failure of, of the human psyche. I don't know. I'm not going to judge you. I got weird stuff on my desk and I'm the one pitching these games. So, you know, I, <laughs> no judgment from me. It's really cool stuff, but it, it looks like it'll be a little expensive. Silent Hill Ascension was also announced as a new kind of Silent Hill experience, which is being worked on by several studios, including Bad Robot Games. Now, if that sounds familiar, Bad Robot is heavily associated with J.J. Abrams, basically the leader of Bad Robot Studios. And this experience, Ascension, is meant to be a live interactive experience where fans interact with the experience to change the future canon of Silent Hill. So basically there's going to be characters, you're going to be able to interact with that in some way using the internet, and then it will help shape the story as it evolves, and then it will be fully canonized at the end, depending on the decisions and choices made. This doesn't seem quite as chaotic as Twitch plays Pokemon. Like, I doubt we're going to have the main character strip down naked, drop all their stuff, and drown in a lake on purpose or something like that, uh, where, you know, you could just have someone sabotage the entire story. But it does seem like it's going to be heavily influenced by fans. I will say with this, this is probably the announcement I'm least excited about just because I prefer Silent Hill as a, a me thing, like me or me and a couple of friends or a friend or my wife sitting and playing the game and enjoying it together. But it's a really cool idea because it's supposed to capture that idea 
of a studio audience or of a theater audience having some amount of influence on the thing in front of them or the people around them, their reactions and how that changes things. So this was sort of inspired by that. I will say there probably will be some hesitation involving J.J. Abrams. He's a very divisive director in a lot of ways, especially after Star Wars. I liked what he did with the Star Trek reboot, but uh, I go back and forth on Star Wars. There's some stuff I really didn't like. I know that's not about it, uh, about this video, but it is something worth mentioning. I know a lot of people feel the same, so I'm not sure how connected to the game he's going to be but he is somewhat tied to the game so we'll have to wait and see you know will this be a star trek or a star wars or did you dislike what he did with both of them then i i have no idea but it could also be one of those figurehead things where he's not heavily involved in it just his studio is again we have to wait and see a little bit more information on this going forward Silent Hill F is another brand new game that was announced at the end of the Silent Hill transmission from Konami, and there weren't many details provided yet on this game. However, the Konami Twitter account mentioned that the game takes place in 1960s Japan. Now, I'm hard-pressed to figure out how they're going to find somewhere more terrifying than Maine, probably one of the worst and scariest areas in the entire universe. Um, like, you go to Maine, and yes, there's the ocean, but at night, Cthulhu-like horrors are rising out of the depths, and people are back, you know, behind dumpsters smoking crack and doing just crazy stuff. Don't forget, Cthulhu asks you to pay a toll every time you take two steps. Yeah, that's the true scary thing, is that you have you have a toll every time you, you drive down any road in Maine, at least in my experience of visiting it. So, I think maybe, um, maybe they'll have a hard time capturing the main horror there but i think japanese horror is very very interesting it's going to be really cool to see this because obviously the horror elements of silent hill are very they're very inspired by america and rural and suburban america especially but now we're seeing a silent hill game that's taking place in japan that's actually going to be influenced by by Japan. So that's going to be really neat to see and cool. I'm very excited for that. I got to be honest with you, I'm probably most excited for the Silent Hill 2 remake. I think that that game, I know that some people are going to be a little hesitant, like, well, why'd you start with two? And I do agree in some ways that I, I think it would have been cool to run through all of them in order. The thing with Silent Hill 2 is that it's the most disconnected from the order, which is the cult in the series, which isn't a bad or good thing, but it's the most simple story because it's more focused on the paths and storylines of a few key characters and how they interact with Silent Hill and that world and how it interacts with them. So I think it's going to be a very good starting place for a lot of people and also a major return for a lot of people as well. One thing I did see mentioned in leaks, which is not... Jill's looking at me because I got a copyright strike for leaks before... One thing I saw mentioned that I didn't talk about before, though, before this transmission, was that they were supposed to talk more about Steam. So that didn't really happen. I'm not sure if the whole point of that leak was just that Silent Hill 2 Remake is going to be on Steam, or if we're going to see something like what we saw on Twitter with the Metal Gear Solid account, where they were talking about how they're doing their best to relist these games and make them available again for PC for Metal Gear Solid, since that's also a Konami property. We'll have to see. It would be nice if the original Silent Hill games became more accessible to people, because even if 2 is remade, 1, 3, and 4 are also very, very good, and I would say tied together a little bit more than even 2 is to the rest of them. But again, this is a great place for people to start, and a great set of news for returning series veterans. So I'm excited to see it. I'm excited that more people are working on this. People are still excited about Silent Hill, and I can't wait to see what happens with the franchise's future. If you are still here, that means you either fell asleep or you loved this video. You're excited about Silent Hill. We're actually playing through the original Silent Hill over on my YouTube channel, Degenerate Plays. The link to that is in the description down below. So we're having a very fun time there. And then as well as that, I did want to mention my wife, Jill, has actually been making some very, very cool resin pieces and jewelry over on her website, Enchanted Glamour. She uses repurposed comic book pages that were being thrown out or recycled and also uses beads and all kinds of other really cool stuff and reclaimed stuff as well to make her jewelry, depending on what it is. So I hope you'll check that out. Every purchase goes to help support the channel and help us out in a very uncertain time on YouTube because for some reason I... I 
notifications don't get sent out anymore usually and people don't see when i upload 99 percent of the time so my wife is not lost in silent hill yet but we can make sure it doesn't go that direction by actually you know getting in there and buying the merch i can't guarantee what happens to jill if no merch is ever sold again i just can't I'm you know be silent jill maybe next time i'm the main character of a game and it's inspired by me we don't know but you know get in there help us out we appreciate you very very much please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this have a fantastic day and as always everyone stay shway